create a lead magnet or a QR code that automatically delivers slides to your workshop or presentation attendees. So I'm delivering a presentation next week and I'm gonna have a slide right at the very beginning that will say, scan here to get the slides for the workshop. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we have a QR code here, which we can do on Canva. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Then that QR code, when people scan it, needs to send them to a form that they can opt in their email and name with. And then filling in that form needs to then send them a copy of the slides. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that today. So I'm assuming that you are creating your slides in Canva for this particular presentation. Go and create yourself a blank slide here. And the first thing we need to do before we create the QR code is create the form that we're going to send people to from the QR code. So keep following along and stick with me inside your Techmatics account. Click on websites and funnels, go to forms, form builder and then add a new form and start from scratch when this opens up your form builder you'll be given a bit of a generic starting point with an opt-in for slides please keep this as simple as possible the more stuff you give people to fill in the bigger your barrier is going to be for people to join I recommend only having first name, get rid of last name, and email. I also recommend removing the phone number. Again, the more that you add in for people, the bigger that barrier is going to be. You may want to include a checkbox here. So I normally just put something like I receive, I consent to receive communication from Sarah Cordner. Okay, I just like to have this on here so that if anyone ever queries how they got on their list, I've just got the fact that box was checked inside their client record. It will actually show the date and timestamp that this was done. With the button, you can change the color of that. So I'm just gonna change that to my, roughly close to my branding. And where it says the word button, I'm gonna put get the slides. That's all I'm gonna do. The other thing you might like to put is just a title at the top here. In the plus button top left-hand side, let me make this a tiny bit bigger for you because so you can see what I'm doing. Scroll all the way down until you find this thing called text, drag and drop the text. Over in the right-hand side is where you add that. I'm gonna put in the title, get a copy of Sarah's slides for the workshop. Over here, you can change the size of this font so you don't have to have it as absolutely massive as that showing right there. You can change the weight, that means how thick that is. So I moved that up to 500, you see it's thicker text. And you can also change the formatting. I like to centralize that. I also just like to put a little note for people to just let them know, is it gonna be instant pop-up or is it gonna be sent to their emails? The slides, okay. And again, you just might, might wanna change the font sizes. You can put in whatever formatting you like right here. And I'm just gonna make sure that's centralized as well. Um, sometimes I add in an image, but I think at this point, I just wanna keep this really simple. That's all you're gonna need for somebody to opt into your slides. If you're in the room, you don't need no fancy landing pages, all right? People just need to give consent. With the first name here, I do want this to be compulsory. You can see there's no star next to it. When you click on that box, click on required again press save this is all you're going to need in the top right you've got this button that says integrate click on that i like mine to be in line that means a, a form that's directly in the middle of the page so they can't lose it if it's a pop-up i'm going to press copy the form link and done now i like to just go and open up a new tab and click on opening this link so that we just can check what the viewer will see when they open up this particular form. So you can see there, really straightforward, says what it needs to say, what happens next. Now, we need to go back to our slide deck and add in the QR code that's gonna send people to that form. In our Canva account, go along the left-hand side until you find this feature called apps. And in apps, you will find the QR code app and you're gonna paste in the link to your form. Boom, there is your QR code. All right, that's all you're gonna do, make that nice and big. Don't make fancy colors, guys, keep it black and white. I know it's not as fun and sexy, but if um, you have a color, it's gonna be really hard for some of the cameras to pick up the QR code and people aren't gonna be able to scan it, especially if they're at the back of the room. Keep it black and white, really, really clear, really simple. So now when people scan that, it's now gonna take them to this form where, hey, next thing I wanna do is just make sure that they get a confirmation that the form was submitted. So back in your form builder here, you underneath the save option have this little funny line and a dot lollipop icon called styles and options. When you click on that, 
click on options. This is where, first of all, you can name your form and this will be whatever you want to call it. This is for you. Only you see this, not the clients. I'm going to name this the title of the workshop I'm delivering for Professional Speakers Australia. Get Sarah's Slime and that is going to be Brisbane and it's going to be July 2024. This is just for me so I know what thing it is. When they press submit, so on submit, what do you want to happen? Do you want to send them to a particular URL? Or do you want to just leave a message? I like to just have a mess up message that says, congratulations, success, and save. Now that will pop up when this form is filled in. Save. The final step now is just to make sure that the slides are actually delivered. A couple of steps to this. First of all, we need to go and download our slides from Canva, or you can just use the share link directly from here. I'm not going to use the share link because I have loads of other spare slides at the back of this deck. So I don't want customers to have the direct link to this Canva slide deck. So I'm going to download my slides. I just need to check where I'm downloading this to page 46. So I'm going to press share, download as a standard PDF. And I need it from pages one to 46 and done. Download, that's gonna now give you your slide deck, okay? From here, we go into our Techmatics account. And what we're gonna do now is add this slide deck to our media library. Our media library in Techmatics is basically like a Google Drive. Any document or file that you attach into your media library will be given a share link. So we're gonna to go to media storage on our left-hand menu right here, press new upload, upload a file, and I'm gonna drop in my slides that I've just downloaded from Canva. Give that a moment to upload, it shouldn't take too long and it will pop up here. Okay, that took less than a minute. You'll see now we have this right here. Now when I hover over this, we have the option to get the link. So I'm gonna copy that link and just by habit, again, I always open a tab and just stick the link in that tab so that I don't lose the link for later on. So just pop it in another tab. You're gonna need this link shortly uh, when we write our email to our customers. And as you can see, when we pop that link into the internet, into a search bar, anything, this is basically the PDF that your clients are going to see. And of course, they're going to be able to download it from this browser as well. So what we need to do now is just create this email that's going to say, congratulations, here's the thing that you have asked for. I am going to go to my Techmatics account, click on emails. I want to get this email ready first. Email builder. And I'm going to find my master template. If you haven't ever created a master template before, please go and check other training on how to do this. Basically, your master template is just your template in your branding. I'm going to press clone. And this one's going to be called PSA, Professional Speakers Australia clone. This is the name that you yourself use for your administration. It's not the subject of your email that your clients see. So this is my generic template. It just means I don't have to keep going in and adding in and with my little bits and bobs. <laughs> so this is going to be high custom values, this little sign up here, contact first name, that's going to put their first name in here. And in here, I'm just going to write my email. So I'll pause this while I write this. In. Okay, so I've now written my email, I've got just basically in here, really simple. Thank you so much for requesting a copy of my slides. Obviously doing your formatting to make sure it looks all nice for you. But the important part now is we've got click here to instantly open a PDF of the slide deck. I've written that in capitals in text. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to press bold. I'm also going to change the color to be a purpley bluey color just because that fits my branding. And what we basically want to do now is hyperlink that with, you guessed it, this link to the slides from our media library. Now, some of you might be thinking, could I just use Google Drive instead of the media library in Techmatics? Absolutely. However, by using the media library link from Techmatics, you're actually able to track clicks on this link rather than in Google Drive where you can't, like the whole point of having everything in one CRM is so that the system can actually track, did somebody click that link? Did somebody open this file? You could do a whole other marketing campaign just to people who did or people who didn't click or download this link. So that's that's the reason why you want to put it in your media library in Techmatics. And there's tracking and all sorts that can happen afterwards. So here's what I've done. Highlight that bit of text, 
press the link button, paste that URL to your media library PDF file in there and press save. That, my friends, is now a clickable link. So we have our email. You might want to put some call to actions at the bottom. Um, I always say to them, let me know if you've got any questions. Here's some things you might like to come and check out. Lots of love from me. And press save. This is very important. Finally, you can do a little check to yourself. Three dots at the top here, test email. You can send yourself a test right there just to see what that looks like. The other thing you want to do in that three dots is check your settings. This is where you're going to put who is it from? It's from your name. What's the email address that you're sending this from? Always by habit, send your emails from the sending domain that's been connected to your Techmatics account so that the email service providers don't mark you as spam. To do that, <laughs> you can either just type the email address in there just to make sure. I always press the little tag and go to account email. This means your Techmatics account's email address. It means your sending email domain that's being connected. What's the subject? Here are your slides. And preview texts um, down safe. Okay, so now we've got those settings saved. Again, I always press save, save. That's it. We've now got our slides downloaded. We've created the opt-in form. We've linked the QR code on the front page of our slides to the opt-in form. We have made sure that the opt-in form says, congratulations, we've received your registration. We've now created the email that they're going to get. The final step now is to just create the little workflow that puts this all on autopilot and brings it all together. Click on automated workflows, then go to create a workflow, start from scratch. And the trigger for this workflow is that somebody's filled in that form. Yeah, so remember we had that form over here. Oh no, that's not it, but it was one like it. <laughs> We had that form that they have to fill in to get your slides in the first place. So we're going to simply, in our trigger, click on the trigger box. We're going to type in form. The trigger is that a form has been submitted. And we're going to say to the system, what form? Add filters. The filter, the form is, and then whatever it was called. The last one you made should show up at the top. But that's the form I just made. And we're going to press save. Okay, so the trigger is that the form has been submitted. This is where we now want to add some tags. Please always tag. I'm going to press add a contact tag. And this is going to be the name of the event. Okay, so this is going to be PSA workshop. All right, that's the name of this action. Then you type in the tag. So I'm going to put in here requested slides for Sarah's workshop at PSA July 2024 Systemize Scale Tech. Okay, that is just for me. I know what that label means. <laughs> I'm going to press save. I also like to just add tags for location as well. This is really important for me because I like to be able to email people in different cities and locations if I'm running events. So this particular event is happening in Brisbane. So I'm going to just type in the tag Brisbane. You can see I've already got a Brisbane tag in there. I also want a tag for Australia. So I'm going to type in Australia and boom, there's an Australia tag. And I also want a Queensland tag as well. Let's type in Queensland. Do I have a Queensland tag yet? No, I don't. So there we go. And I also, this particular group is PSA, which I have there. So save. This now is going to add tags and this is going to be location tags, just so that I know what these different sections mean. Alrighty, the next thing is I need to make these people a lead in my customer journey. So we're going to type in opportunity over here. Opportunities means your customer journey. Okay, so the action name is for your own notes. I'm going to just put in customer journey because I prefer to call mine customer journey. And that's in Sarah's customer journey. And they're going to be put into the stage that they are a lead. And what's the opportunity name? That is going to be their contact's full name. This is the name that shows up on the card in the contact record and um, source is where did this opportunity come from where did this lead come from so in this particular case they came from professional speakers australia 
PSA because that's the event that I'm speaking at. What value are they worth? To me, I just only put $1,000 because if they were to join the Legends Lab or Techmatics, that's basically the value of a year's worth of membership. And they are open at the moment because the lead has not yet been won. The sale has not yet been made. I'm going to press save. Now we've, they filled in the form. We've tagged them with all the tags. We've moved them to the right stage of the customer journey. And instantaneously, we also want to send them now an email. What's the email? The email is the one that we just created. So scroll down to where it says templates because we created this in our builder. Mine was called PSA and it was, ooh, why have I got two? Oh, there we go. No, it's because I've delivered there before. It was this one here <laughs> and it will show you a preview. There's that email we just created and boom, this is going to be slide save. Boom. There we go. So they fill in the form. They get tagged with everything. They get moved to the right stage in my customer journey and they get sent their delivery email. The other thing we can do here, which I like to do is send a review request. Press save. I might leave a little bit of a, oh, we want to send the request by email. Press save. I'm going to leave a little wait gap there because I want to wait 24 hours until we send them a request for a review. Let's just do wait for one day. Save. So there we go. Slides, wait for a day. And we can even put in here, wait for one day. So we can see that in our notes. Wait for one day, press save. I am now also going to just title this workflow. And this is called PS July 2024. There we go, save again. And that my friends is how you can add to any of your slide decks a QR code that links to an opt-in form so people are legally opting into your list. And then you go in and create an automation that then delivers that thing. Now, of course, what you can do is add in as many different elements here as you wanted to based on what your sales process is. You might like to go in and do more follow-ups, do an upsell, whatever you want to do. In my case here, I'm just going to send them the thing and that's it and leave them alone. But you might like to add in a, a wait for a week, follow up again. Would you like to book an appointment with me? Blah, 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 blah. There's like unlimited things you can do with this. But if you need any help, jump on to the live chat, bottom right-hand side here where that question mark is. This little chat box right here, we have real people on there 24 hours a day ready to help you with anything you need. So that's always your first port of call for free whenever you need help 24 hours a day. We also have a live time with the tech expert Zoom call every day as well that you can go and find the link to on the Techmatics support page on the Techmatics website. Happy tech in.